and hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Space Empires again. Uh which way to go around to the star? Left, right, left, right, hang on. I have a coin for this. Whoop. Right it is. For anyone wondering, yes, there is a right on a coin. <laughs> Hang on here. Ooh, not bad. It's huge, I like it. That's what she said. And various other th sexual innuendos that could probably be made from it. Um, let's see, let's go. All right, not bad so far. Doesn't look like there's a warp point. I don't think anything can actually occur on the very outer layer of the system, so I'm not too worried about scouting that. What I am worried about is there's a gigantic cluster of stars at this point in the minimap. Um, so what I'm kind of expecting is there's probably another race. And I'm beginning to wonder if I'm going to have enough time. I've got one turn left to get Ice Planet Colonization, which is fine. Something uh, something else I also need is, I think it's construction, no, it's planetary engineering. Because that unlocks planet, planet utilization. I forget what level that is, but level 8 of that grants me what's called the atmospheric converter, which does pretty much what it sounds like it does. It converts the atmosphere to something else. It will automatically target whatever the hell has the most on the planet. So if you have, you know, a uh, hundred thousand, I don't know. Anyway, the point is it just converts it to the um, thing that people breathe. The most people on the planet breathe. At least. Um, so. How much of this can I take away? Oh, fair bit. Don't I actually need that much, do we? Wow, alright. Don't even need that much of this. Alright, so we got a good amount freed up. Now here's the thing, do I want to go for level 3 temporal studies and try and start getting some temporal weapons going? Or... Well, something I need to do anyway is that. I really need to do that. Really badly. Before I start falling behind in that. <sighs> But, you know what, no, we'll wait for next turn, because we can do it in one turn anyway. Uh, it'll be rather irrelevant. So, I'll put the remainder into Temporal Studies. Oop, I have a ship without an order. Are you here? No, are you even building stuff? Well, alright, fair enough. Um, apparently, oh, it's research. Whoops, wrong planet. Are you even building stuff? No, you're not. Uh, you know what? A couple computerized rock colonies is not necessarily... Well, I'm getting... Yeah, I need a rock colony anyway for that gigantic one I just found. Uh, and there's at least a couple ice oxygen ones in the system, right? Ice small oxygen. Ice tiny non. Ice tiny non. Ice tiny non. Rock huge. Yeah, I should consider that one. One ship without orders. Oh, right. I totally forgot about that one. You have orders, right? Good. You, you probably don't have orders. You also have no supplies left. Yeah, you know what? You might want to just come back here, I think. Yeah. Well, you know what? No to infinity and beyond, as they say. This is a computerized scout. It might suck to lose it, but... At least I don't lose any lives. Look at me trying to be moral about things. Um, no, I think I'm going to head back, though. There's, there's no sense in throwing away the scout. Warp there. It'll be fine, I hope. Running a little low, and I don't even know if I put any um, supply carriers on these things. Like I said, though, they're all unarmed. Uh, I don't feel the need to build weapons until I... You know... More or less until I meet an enemy. It just seems a little wasteful. 
Alright, so this thing is acting as a resupply base, yeah. Uh, that's still gonna be a while to build. That's okay, though. Some people asked about my resources. They're up here. But you'll notice they just sit at 50,000 and don't do anything. That's because my home planet's producing a frick ton. And I think it's... If we go into here, estimates? I don't know. That's, I think that's other empires. I forget it's in here, around here somewhere. No. Colonies list? I don't know. Either way, the point is, um, my production here significantly outweighs anything that my empire currently needs. There will be a point when I have to start expanding resource production onto other planets, not planets like this, because you can see they have a very bad value. Planets like that also have a very bad value. What's a good planet to use as an example? Gets giant medium oxygen, that's okay for uh, minerals. That one's a decent one for radiation, or radioactive material. And that one I can just turn into a research center. But yeah, so I have to find various planets that have somewhat limited... Like, is this any good for anything? Yeah, that's pretty decent for both farming and radioactive stuff. Wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, so various planets have various resources on them. I, don't, I really should keep that on the game data. I don't really know if I want you guys to know when I'm recording stuff. Anyway, back after this. And let's go. Hup. Level 1 in ice tech, or ice colonization. Perfect. That's what I like. Okay, um... Research... Yeah, uh, let's redistribute some stuff here. I know this will take 46 turns, but... I really need applied research. Oop, and... Like I said, I'll pour the extra stuff I've got. I really do need to start working on temporal tech. And probably some light hole construction, too. Or temporal studies, that's the one I want. Yeah. Well... Uh, yeah, you're running very low on supplies. You're set to warp back to uh, Genook. Uh, where are this thing, which should be, yeah, it's providing the supplies out, so it'll it'll help. It'll cover it. You, on the other hand, need to get to work. Should probably go back to using the hotkeys. Okay, hydrogen planet. Okay, um, yeah, so far I do like this planet at least though. Um, I'm actually impressed I haven't run into anybody yet. I'm actually okay with not running into anybody for now, like I said. Uh, I need to avoid people for the time being. Alright, so wait, I have to design a new ship. Copy. Uh, select design type. It will be a ice colony ship. And we'll carry that. Yes, perfect. Alright. And it's got some supply storage. I really don't need the supply storage. I mean, that's probably what I should have put on the scouts, but I'm doubtful I'll need this. Computerize. Ice colony. Alright, so, um, good. That'll do, uh, you. Oh, wow, the difference that that makes is actually a full freaking turn. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have put that stuff on that. Oh, well. I'm a fool. Either way. Alright. Hmm. Let's see. So, 30,000. That's alright for now. Alright, so that doesn't actually increase the, uh... Alright, yeah, 0 0.4 years. Good. It doesn't actually increase the rate that I research stuff. 
What it does, however, do... Change to upgrades. And then I press that a couple times. There. 24 research centers can be upgraded in 9 turns. Can you imagine? And then, of course... It'll just give me an error if I try and put in more than they actually exist. See? Two years. Nothing big. So, either way, though, I need more ships. That's okay. Um, just toss a couple more of those in. Should be okay. Yeah, alright. I think we'll be okay. Need to get a rock colony ship here ASAP. Yeah, there should be a warp point over here. Uh, because we come in from this angle, and if we look at that, then, yeah, we're point about here. You can see a little notch, so it's really easy. Oop, we have two ships of that order today. Well, one of them should just be sitting here, and should be doing absolutely nothing. Can I put you on hold? Um... Explore, repair, resupply at nearest... Nope. Alright, so he'll be left without orders. It's probably a rock colony sitting here, isn't it? Nope. Oh wait, we never did order this scout ship. That's right. Okay, so let's get going. Uh-oh, we've got someone. Alright, well, we've just discovered our first empire. Oh no, wait, we've apparently discovered someone else. You, gas giant, carbon dioxide, K. Okay. You, ice methane. Good. So none of them should interfere with my colonization efforts. But they, uh, seem to not particularly be worried about us, at least. They're indifferent, so... and we're not at war. I'm not particularly certain I want to make contact, but... What I am going to do is, I'm going to watch you to see if you move. I can't actually move into the warp gate, warp point with him there. It's a blocking ship, I think. It's a strategy the AI uses. Basically prevents me from entering their system if they have a ship there. Without declaring war on them, obviously. Or, I have a cloaking ship. Which I probably will get. Why does it keep changing it back to show my actual time, for God's sakes? Yes, I'm recording at 3 a.m. We know that. I always do. Well, not always, but you know what I mean. But, uh, yeah. One ship without orders, that is acceptable, because that ship is sitting there, resupplying. Oh, well, hello, we're back. Sorry, that was one of those weird things. Okay. Please ally yourself with us. Uh-oh. Well, they didn't contact with me. View. Um, Empires will assist each other militarily when attacked and share repairing. We got a new empire called the Telto Hive. And we also apparently know that this exists. How the heck are you up here? Um, don't know how you're up here, why you're up here, or how you got up here. That's not even one of my shit. Oh my god. That is sweet justice in of itself. Under minister control. The planet is... How do I turn that off? The point is, you won't believe this. But the ship defected to me. Okay. Um, I'm going to order you to warp. Alright, so. We're going to try and get you back. Uh, they are rebels. With a cause to join me. Even though they have apparently only heard of me in fables and other various tales. Um, how the hell do I turn off the minister? That's what I'm wondering. 
Yeah, that's great. Um, crap. I don't often turn on Minister, so I don't know how. Don't know how one turns it off. Oh, dear. Settings. Toggle Minister. Done. Okay. So, according to this, assuming we come from... Okay. Uh, so we come from that way... There is a warp point here. As we drive our way through their systems. I doubt he'll get back alive. I'm sure they'll declare war on me for violating something or another. I don't know, but I'm sure they'll be pissed. That's the thing. Okay, you're just a blocking ship. Okay. That's what I kind of expected. So we know the E Consortium is here. Alright. So you've got a computerized rock colony ready. Excellent. Is it Devonshire we need it at? No, it's here. Colonize. I have no idea how long that will actually take, but... Okay, about five turns. It's got a little ways to fly. I need to start uh, working on setting up probably in Chinook a um, forward building station. Or, yeah, let's uh, use that. Yeah, there's a rock ship there. Um, no, wait, you're, you're the wrong thing. I want you. Uh, we will also get a, uh, computerized rock colony in there. Perfect. Uh, I'm also going to... No. I am going to clear you. And... I am going to change you. I'm going to upgrade you. And I'm going to get rid of these. They seriously add on an extra turn. I thought, you know, that might be useful. Uh, I'm deleted. There. Okay. Done. Only two years. Or two turns or whatever. Temporal Star is still three turns away. And in the last three turns, we've met three empires. Kind of worrying, actually. I am considerably worried that, um, well. Oh, wow. Yeah, the resources, as I said, are starting to go down now because the needs of my empire are starting to grow a little. I want to try and avoid that for a little while. Uh, the planet I'm coming to here, is it good for anything? Well, actually. What do you know? It's very good. Well, not very good, but... It, um... Is kinda good for, uh... You know, organics and radiation, which is what I'm bleeding out now. One unanswered political message and two ships without orders. You... Yeah, you don't have an order. That's fine. You can't go anywhere anyway. Here's the problem, though. How are you gonna get... You have to go back all that way, don't you? Yeah, it'll have to come through Welsh Rock or something. Speaking of which, how's this resupply ship doing? Yeah, it's gonna take for friggin' ever. Yeah, if it goes to a planet or something, yeah, see, there you go. Now it's going to gather a ton of supplies up. Okay. I forgot they could do that. <laughs> now. Yeah, see, I can't get in there. He's basically sitting there blocking the warp point. And I'm in no position to particularly attack it, because I don't have a gun on the ship. Oh well, we'll work on it. Um, hmm. Yeah, where's that ice thing? You're not really useful for anything, are you, Now, That's okay. One ship without orders. I forget. Which ship is that? Oh yeah, it's the one sitting by the what point, and one unanswered political message. 
Uh, reply. Um. Move ships from system. Nah. Eh. General message. Uh, counter treaty proposal. Mutual defense pact. Set treaty elements. Uh, I'm free to trade with them. In non-aggression in all systems, no mutual defense. Allow migration between colonies. And no. Both empires share system maps of one another. And communication channels. Uh, no. Yeah. No black hole creation. Well, that one should probably be in, yeah. Okay. Send the message. And they'll respond next turn. I'm looking for more like a, uh... Rather than an ally, more just like a non-hostile... Trade partner, I suppose. Not particularly looking for an ally. The fact they're looking for an ally probably means they're under attack. Which is one of the reasons why I don't ally with people in this game, ever. Not because I'm xenophobic or anything, but usually because it means they need me. Which is strange because I don't have any guns. Like, I literally only have colonies and scouts right now. Non-aggressions, allow migration, show system maps. Sure, can you get it on the line? Sure. See Metal Gear. Yeah, alright, let's, um... You see, one of the things I actually like about this is the AI understands what you're going for. Or, no, wait, that's what I sent. Shit. <laughs> I'm a moron. Never mind. Uh, everything I say is a lie, apparently. I actually thought the AI would give me an intelligent thing. But... Then this occurred. Luckily, I have no combat ships, so there's no harm they could possibly do. But, there is somebody committing espionage against me, and that's not good. Um, uh, there we go, colonize. There you go. And next turn it'll colonize up. Okay. So, I still have to wait another turn for its return. Well, I guess that, alright. Alright, so we've got combat to go. Yeah, we're going to go tactical combat on this. Okay, yeah, we're not getting anywhere. Anyone ever seen a blockade run? The trick is going to be getting into the warp point without being shot. Come on here. Apparently, yeah, they can outrun me, damn it. Flee. Yeah, flee directly for the warp point. Get, it, get to the chase, get to the warp point. Dodge. Keep dodging. Yeah! Woo! Wow. Come on, almost. We can totally get in there. I forget, can I... How do I initiate a warp? I don't know, I'm supposed to be able to, I think. Uh, let's stop combat. Where's... there's gotta be a command issue of warp. Yeah. Let's 
See, it's right there, but it's grayed out. I have no idea why it's grayed out, but... Apparently it's grayed out. And that sucks. I mean, this thing has no ordinance and can't do anything. The good news is it may have just survived anyway. They didn't have enough or they didn't have enough ordinance either to blow it up. You see, these things are not carrying ordinance. I don't know why, but this empire is greatly, greatly undersupplying. Combat is concluded. So anyway, the point is we we are now in the war point with them, which means. No, I wanted to warp. Alright. <clears throat> we managed to escape. Ditch them. And we've managed to escape. Good work. Damaged, yeah. A valiant effort. If you guys make it back here, despite being, you know, a completely different race than us, you'll be hailed as heroes and true patriots of the Palmyrna Empire. Seriously. Good work on these guys' part. Eh, this thing's gonna, just going to sit here, I suppose, for a while. Until I can get a colony here, then I can just demand that they leave my system. And you should have full supplies by now. Or at least close enough. Um, whoops. I meant to actually select a ship. And move here. There you go. So I'm just going to sit there. Alright. Anyways, I'm not particularly worried about being flanked from here. Computers and I tend to share the uh, same issues about nebulae. We don't like them in the slightest. And just completely ignore them. And mostly move around them. Alright. One ship of that order is, yep. Resources are holding up alright. And we're back. Whoop. It's that colony type. Well, you suck for resources. So, there is nothing but research compound in your future, I'm afraid. Communications tap on our message with messages with the Triple E Consortium. So, it's not actually the Triple E Consortium. I thought it would have been, but... I mean, these guys don't know of any of my planet, so they can't send intelligence at me. Which only leaves one empire po Well, never mind, we've discovered more. <laughs> yeah, they're displeased with me. General message. I think it's these guys. We know what you are up to. Send message. Eh, the computer won't actually react to that, sadly, but... Eh. Yeah, possible port variance is 50%. No no real use any of this could bring to me, but oh well. So that thing's... We still got a colony ship coming. Um, What did I even build here? Oh yeah, right, the four basic facilities. Yeah, this thing's going to be a forward construction yard. I'm actually going to cancel this, though. Because, again, the planetary utilitization thing. Uh, I'm probably going to be getting it soon. So, my little research compound. You know what to do. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I know I could have said it and then just done it all in one go, but whatever. I think we've got another seven years worth to build. Can't wait until this thing's done. Oof, six turns. Like I said, uh, this thing is the is much better than the other one, especially at level five, four thousand eight hundred per turn, over two thousand, which is really good. Um, yeah, Organics is holding up. I don't know if this thing's gonna have enough supplies to get back, is it? Yeah, maybe. If I play it right. Okay, so stare at it from the back, and there should be a warp point on the left. 
Okay, so this is actually a nebulae. That's gonna be a little tricky. Um, have to move through this. So there should be a warp point over here. We can use that to try and get. Like I said, if I can find the other end of the E Triple E Consortium, that would be great. At least then I kind of know what I'm up against. For now, though, I don't particularly. Oh yes, great. Level two temporal studies is coming. Not oh, that it matters, I still need to put it up to level 3, just to uh, get temporal weapons, which I really want before I start designing combat ships. I'm sure people are really yelling at me that, no, just use regular weapons. Temporal weapons are awesome, trust me. And I know if I can just... it's a gamble. If I hold out until I have it, then that's great. If not, I may have to militarize early. I mean, if I can just hold out another 6 turns without not having anything to declare war on me, Oof, this thing's just gonna start pumping up battleships. Well, not really, I don't have battleships yet. But, you know. And we're back. Eh, communication tap. Jeanuk 5 has been scanned covertly. Message sent to the. <laughs> Lovely. Facility upgraded. Any, any respond? Zil and the system. We suggest you leave now. I wasn't aware I was in the Zelantha system. So I have not even discovered it. I have no idea who or where the Zelantha system is, nor do I care. But that's worrying that they. Oh well, hello. That's going to give me first contact. That's what I needed. Level 2 in Temporal Studies. Great. And now, as you'll see in five turns, Temporal Weapons. Excellent. Though, I still need better ships. So I have to kind of put stuff on the back. It, I can't necessarily say I'm putting it on the back burner. Five percent isn't gonna be much here. No, it's not. Damn. All right. Just get me what you can. You really like some better light holes. Uh, as my research output increases, at least things should get a little better. Cause you're building compounds, right? You know, I'm not certain. Yeah, never mind. It's fine. I was going to say, I didn't think the math added up. Alright, so you're done upgrading. Good. How goes your upgrading? Hmm, still in a point four years. Good work. Keep it up. By the time they're done upgrading, up two ships without orders. Right, you don't have orders yet. I forgot about you. Yeah, we have to find you a warp point, don't we? But where, oh, where is the warp point for this little lost ship? Who's just heard tales of our awesomeness and wants to join us? The answer, not in this direction. I guess it's just like right here or something. Okay. Like I said, looking at it from the direction we entered. Yeah, okay, so it's just on the other side, that's fine. That has no orders, and you never have any orders. You're just kind of sitting there for a while. That's fine. I just kind of want to keep an eye on what's going on on that flank. That way I'll know if any colony ships come through and stuff. Still, I wonder what they were talking about with the Zelantha system. Hmm, troubling. Alright, let's see. Yeah, you found the warp point, good. And you're almost there. Chinook scanned covertly. The Usadop Hive may be behind it. Alright. Usadop Hive. Oh yeah, they're the ones I had to fight my way through. 
Well, if you guys didn't block my way out, this wouldn't have been a problem. Well, yeah, what do you know? Uh, warp points can occur on the very edge of the system. Alright, cool. Wasn't aware. Well, thought differently anyway. So, they didn't send any message? Nope. Okay. Let's see how well situated they are in here. Like, I mean, this isn't a very good planet. That's... We got a couple of ships there. Hmm. Rock, large, optimal. That looks like a home world to me. Yeah, that, that looks like a home world to me. I'd say that's a home world right there. I mean, if we look at it, it's got similar planet values to mine, I think. Yeah. Nigh the same. And it's got a space station around it, too. So that's going to be a tricky thing to fight. What the hell kind of thing is that? Okay, it's a colony ship. And a frigate. We know that looks like a frigate because we have a frigate up here. Seriously, I'm, I'm actually interested to see if I can get this thing back in one piece. This is going to be awesome. Uh. Anyway, watch out. Ships can rebel in this if you uh, piss them off. Or, I, I forget what causes ships to rebel. I think it's lack of supplies or something. So I guess all the ordinance that they are failing to give their crew is pissing them off. Or something. I, or their people are pissed. I, I, like I said, when it comes down to intelligence, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. And people happiness, I just know to keep my people happy. With various means. It's not much beyond that, I have to admit. Uh, not much beyond that at all. Alright. Uh, two ships without orders. That's not right. Yeah. Got one ship without orders there. Oh, you have one move left. Okay. Move there. And carry on. Alright. We're back. And... Alright, let's see. Let's see. Colony... Okay, so this is a huge one. The answer, I suppose, is going to be... A... Resource colony. It it provides me names for ones that work fine. Force concentrations has been scanned covertly. The attack has all the markings of the operation of the Talto Hive. So yeah, those those people Oh wait, what? Were you the ones that eh, either way. I'm fairly certain that the Talto Hive are the ones up here that I escaped from. So, we come into Bizzerti, and from the way we're looking at it, there should be a warp point if we travel along the outside, on the right. About here. So we'll have him move out here. I guess I'm not particularly interested in gathering all this, a whole pile of s scout data, because this thing's on limited supplies, I'd really like to get it back. I mean, it's kind of neat just to be able to have it. Like, this thing's probably got to go boom, then boom. I honestly forget the map of the galaxy already. It's been a while. But, nevertheless, okay, so where are the warp points in this system? Um. Wait. Um. So, on entry, make your 90 degree right. Okay, so there should be a warp point over here. Somewhere, at least. Um, I'm, I'll find it. Yeah, we got a decent enough data about the planets around here. <laughs> Could colonize the planet next to their home world. I mean, the Triple E. The Triple E Consortium never did particularly reply, did they? Yeah, no. Estimated vehicle amounts, they have five frigates and one space station. They only have a single colony, apparently. 
I think they might be getting their ass handed to them. It's hard to tell. Now, you... You have orders now to colonize that planet. Go. For the glory of the Empire. Population in cargo. Yep. Ah, uh, boy. Hmm. So, let's see what's going on. Uh, I think that's it, actually. 0 0.3 years. How much have I... How much has been freed up? The answer is 18%. It's not bad. I'll just wait until it's at 0 0.1 for whatever the heck it's got left into hull. Alright, here we are. Yeah, you're going to call it. Detailed measurement of force concentrations. Yeah, they're just uh, probing the crap out of me, that's for certain. They can't really do any harm, but... I have to be a little careful. Alright, let's double check here. Come in. Should be over here. Somewhere. There it is. Next turn warp there. We might manage to get these guys back in one piece. I'll be damned, uh, damned impressed if I do. Well, they got another colony here. And they've got a warp point. Okay. I ain't getting through there, that's for certain. Well, that is unless they, uh, much like the others, seem to have some trouble, per se, keeping, uh, keeping things stocked up on ordnance. Now, let's see. you still got two years left. Good work. Like I said, in one turn, I'll just toss whatever the heck I've got left into, you know, hull. Uh, oof. Looking at technology always seems to cause my frame rate to drop a little. And turn. Two ships without orders. Alright, so where's the second ship without orders? You. Alright, we're back to Devonshire. That's about as far as we can get on either way of going that way. Uh, you are... how many turns out now? Two? Alright. Like I said, um, you, how close are you to being finished? Two years, good. A lot happens in two years. You, I haven't started actually using you yet. Mostly because there's no spaceport around, but, oh well. Wow, that's a good planet. Usually I'd create another colony or something, but oh well. First thing built is a spaceport. And then, 12 of those. Where, where are they? Um, there. Perfect. <clears throat> It'll be busy for a long time building things to keep me in good shape. And eventually I'll have to upgrade them, but oh well. And I think that's going to do it for the episode, since we're at a, another no decimal point thing. Whole number, I suppose, in the game date. Alright, let's see. Yep, I think that does it. So, thank you everyone for watching. As always, this has been Calvin, leading the Palmyrene Imperium into a new future. And yeah, hey, that thing finally hit a billion people. Really, though. 31,000, not bad. So close to temporal weapons. Oh, yes. Yep, so this has been Kelvin leading the Balmyrene Imperium into the stars, signing off.